Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Creative Linda. So guys, it is Friday and it's around 5.40, almost 5.40 um, in the evening and I'm going to be making dinner. Now, um, I'm not making anything big because I today's Good Friday and I had a pork chop but I don't know where my head was, my brain was not in it and I totally forgot. So I'm going to be good for, for dinner. I'm not going to have meat for dinner. Um, so yeah, so anyway... What I'm having is I'm going to have breakfast, guys. I haven't had breakfast this week or last week, so I think I didn't. So anyway, but I'm having um, eggs and pancakes. That's what I'm having for dinner tonight. So I'm going to make up some pancakes, and then I'm going to probably have a couple, uh, either one or two fried eggs over it. And that's going to be my dinner. And Billy will be home probably around 9 or 10, so I'll make him either um, pasta dish or maybe rice, something like that. I don't know. He'll, he'll eat something. I'll make them something. So anyway, let's get going on this. So I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna make a cup of buttermilk. So it's just one cup of milk to a tablespoon of white vinegar. That's how you make buttermilk. That's apple cider vinegar. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to guess because I basically know. About a tablespoon. And let that, that sit for five minutes. Um, and that becomes buttermilk. Um, so I need one egg. nice and playful. I have this pot here um, with my turkey in it defrosting. So Frankie keeps coming every hour and we keep emptying it and putting it back in. It's getting there. It's getting there. But it, it, it'll definitely be defrosted right tomorrow. Definitely. Um, all right. So we're going to do um, one one cup of this recipe is for one cup of um, pancake mix. And this is my homemade pancake mix that I make that I am, um, I make up by my, you know, I make up myself. That I make up myself. And keep it in the pantry, you know, keep it in the back. Um, and then when I want pancakes, all I gotta do is put the pan, put it together. My counter's clean, so I'm not worried about this. So, uh, let me get, I have to get one egg, and then I'm just going to bring the eggs out. Toy from you. I'm going to get it. Um, yeah, that's all I need. I just need to put the milk in, one egg. I'm going to put a little vanilla in there. Give mommy that toy. I'm trying to think what I have. What kind of, I'm just thinking I'm just going to have regular pancakes. I have chocolate chips I can put in it, but that's kind of... Mm, kind of breakfasty. What else can I put it? I could put um I put did bananas one time. I have a lot of bananas over there. Do I want banana now? I kind of want it to be just regular pancakes tonight I think. Yeah. That's what I want. Right, one egg. Knock yourself out. You 
just locked yourself out, buddy. So I did some cleaning. I um, did the living room. I um, give this another couple of seconds. Um, I vacuumed and dusted the living room earlier after I posted my other video. Um, and I was gonna do some. I really, you know, Easter is 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 um, is not as busy as like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, I'm preparing three days before. Easter is not like that. Easter is all I have to do is I have to cook the ham, slice it up, and the only thing that's going to be a little bit difficult this year is not really difficult, but is the turkey because I have I usually I just buy a turkey breast, but like I said, it was free and they had they only were giving giving turkey, so I'm going to make the turkey, um, and I'm going to but I'm not making it like Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? I'm going to season it and do all the good stuff to it and all that. And then we'll have it some for brunch and we'll have some for dinner um, that we'll have some um, for Easter dinner. For brunch, we have everything is, is chilled. We have ham, we have turkey, we have kibasi, we have deviled eggs. Um, we have Hawaiian sweet bread with cream cheese. And that's really it. What we have is for brunch. And then um, for dinner, we always have like mashed potatoes and we all, we, we have whatever ham and turkey we have left or whatever we always have left you know enough I always buy enough because we're gonna have it for that evening and I'll make mashed potatoes and string bean casserole and that's what we're gonna do so yeah so it, so it's not it's not a lot of prep and work it really isn't so it'll be fine I just got to make the deviled eggs all right so here's the one cup of buttermilk Give this a little mixy mix. I don't really like to use, I don't know why I took the whisk. Because the whisk, it just doesn't really do such a great job in there. I don't like to overcook my, I mean over mix my, um, my pancake mix. Over mixing it, you get a tough pancake. I don't like that. I just mix it until it's all mixed. All right, ready? Like I told you, I put vanilla in it. Mmm, smell the vanilla in there, guys. I like it to be a little bit chunky. I like a fluff, I like a thin kind of fluffy pancake with like it burnt, like not burnt, but like with a little crispy around the edges. That's how I like it. Okay, that's good. I'm not going to do anything else to it because I don't want it to over, I don't want to overdo it. Just let's get the skillet. can see pretty well. Okay, yeah, with that with the light on. All right, let me get the butter. I don't think I have much butter in the dish. Oh yeah, I do have butter in the dish. It's a little bit chunky, but actually like to pour it in. well I'm not gonna pour it in here because then well yeah I could do that I'm just gonna pour it back in here anyway so anyway to store it so that's fine so let me get the butter oh I have butter I'm, I'm getting cheese I need mean. This on. So 
So comment down below what you guys are having for dinner today and what you guys do for Easter. Do you stay home? Do you cook, you know, for your family? Did your family come over to you? Do you go to your mom's? Do you go to your aunt's, cousins, whatever? I'm curious. I like to know what you guys are what you guys are up to. So I'm gonna make the pancakes first because the pancakes will take longer than um than the eggs will take. The eggs are gonna be quick. Yeah, so it was nice today. It was like in the in the fifties and it was nice and I had the door open and all of a sudden I got really chilly. I had the heat off. All of a sudden I got really chilly and I'm like, ooh. So um, you know, I had this warm this short sleeve shirt on today. So I put my sweater on nice and cozy and warm. Yep. So I'm just gonna hang out. This isn't gonna be a long, long video, but I'm gonna, I have to talk about a few things on here. I'll do my quote and um, I'm gonna tell you when we're gonna do the live. And um, I'm also gonna read a few of my, a few, a few positive comments. I told you guys that's what I'm gonna be doing now. Right, so I'm just gonna probably make like three. I'm not gonna eat three right now, but I'm just gonna make three. There we go. Looking good, guys. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Now they're not done. They're not ready to flip until you saw, until you see them start like um, till you see them start like bubbling on top. When they get when they start getting little bubbles, then they're ready to turn over. huge <laughs> that one's a little big but that's all right just love pancakes love them mm. no sausage or bacon for me tonight because i already was bad and had pork <laughs> i think god will forgive me though right i think so i think so another minute Let's do this one first. Woo, nice. Perfection. Here we go. Woo -hoo. Nice, guys. Oh, my God. It smells so amazing in here. And I like a lot of butter with my pancakes. I do. I like them very buttery. Buttery and crispy on, crispy on the, the sides. Mmm, so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know. I want, I want you. This is good. This is
Okay. So these are done. Because that's how I like my pancakes. I don't like them really dark. And I was chatting. Distracted. But that's perfect, guys. The little crispiness. I am a disaster. Knocking over everything. Knife on the floor. Alright, let's get this off the flame while I do what I have to do. Put some butter on top. Like I told you guys, I like butter on my pancakes. Oh my god, seriously. Alright, alright, alright. Cooper's gonna freak out. Give me a second. Alright, guys. So my eggs are frying up. We had a Frankie had to come out and shut that off. It's alright, buddy. Cooper got a little scared. It's okay, buddy. It's all fine. It's all fine. No, it's very windy here today, and I keep thinking somebody's like at the door, but it's not the door, it's the wind. flip these guys because I like woo, I don't you know, see I'm not really crazy about my eggs like that oh man god darn it <sighs> I broke my egg I broke my egg not a big deal I like my eggs um it's not burnt or anything so but I don't really like a crisp I like it cooked, do the white cooked and all that. I don't like any of that slimy stuff. But um, I like my yolk to be, yeah. It's gonna be yummy. I just put on the um, the, the the stove thing. <sighs> All right, guys. I know this is weird, but I want my I want my food on a regular plate. I'm gonna take these two. I love my eggs on top of my I didn't put any salt and pepper on these. So a little salt. It's okay, Cooper. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. I didn't put any syrup on top of the pancakes. So I just broke it a little bit here. And I'm using the regular pancake syrup, not the, not the, um, not this one, not the maple syrup. So I'm going to go sit down and eat, and then I'll be back with you guys. Here we go. Breakfast for dinner. Ain't no better. All right, guys. This is what I got for you for the rest of, the, for the rest of this video. I'm going to read um, a positive comment from one of my subscribers. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to do that every day. I'll do it a couple of times a week, but I don't know that I'm going to do it every day. I might, I might not. So it just might be, it's just random. But this is from, oh, 
Let me let Cooper out. Just give me one second. All right, guys. This one is from Belinda Penna. 6610. Belinda Penna. 66110. Now, I just randomly going through them and picked the first one that I that I really thought was really, you know, awesome. They're all awesome. They're all awesome. But I really, I like this one. So she writes, good day, Linda. May your day be filled with everything that brings you joy and peace. Anything that doesn't is not worth your time or energy. May God guide your path, guide your path always with heart and a prayer and a prayer sign. Thank you so much, Belinda. I really appreciate that. Again, I'm going to read it one more time. I'm going to read them twice. Good day, Linda. May your day be filled with everything that brings you joy and peace. Anything that doesn't is not worth your time or energy. May God guide you, guide your path always. So sweet. Thank you so much, Belinda. I really, really appreciate that positive that positive comment. And just keep them coming, guys. Keep them, keep the comments coming. The positive comments coming. I love all of my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you so, so much. All right, I'm going to read my inspirational quote. Um, one second. All right, guys, um, there's a couple here I'm going to read. This one is, there is no point treating a depressed person as though she were just feeling sad, saying, there now, hang on, you'll get over it. Again, there is no point treating a depressed person as though she were just feeling sad, saying, there now, hang on, you'll get over it. That's poignant for a, depre for a depressed person, poignant, because you can't just get over it. For a sad, for being sad for one day or, or sad because of something, that's one thing. But when you're depressed, you can't just get over it. So that's very meaningful, very poignant. I love that, guys. There is no point in treating a depressed person as though she was just feeling sad, saying, there now, hang on, you'll get over it. Thank you. I love it, love it, love it. So listen to that one. And then your now is not your forever. I like that too because that gives you hope. Hope, you know, if you have hope, you have everything. So your now is not your forever. Remember that because there's always tomorrow. Tomorrow always can turn it around. You can always turn it around. It will always turn, you know, not, it will always turn around, but it, but there's, there's hope for it to turn around. You know what I mean? So just take that in and, um, and this one to be dedicated to change the way in which people see mental illness at all levels of society. I like that because that is the truth. Be dedicated to change the way in which people see mental illness at all levels of society because people don't see mental illness as something serious. A lot of people don't. I'm not saying all people, but some people don't and that's why they fall through that's why the people fall through the cracks and end up murdering innocent people and themselves and just doing damage to the world. So um, let's all just be dedicated to have compassion and empathy for people who really, really need it, guys. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed those quotes and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't very long, but it is what it is. I got to do what I can do, guys. I'm feeling better today. So um, I hope you guys are all getting ready for Easter. I'm so excited. I'm going to be I'm going to be definitely, you know, um, videoing, vlogging um, tomorrow and Sunday for Easter and all of that. I'll do whatever I can do, um, you know, what I feel comfortable with showing you guys and all of that. I hope you guys are all have, gonna have a great Easter, a great weekend. Don't forget to hit that subscribers button because when you subscribe, it really does help my channel grow. Don't forget to hit that notification button with that bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share and comment down below. And don't, and I love, thank you so much for coming into my kitchen, my home with me and, and creating. Also guys, the live is on. My, cel my 2000 celebration live show is on Saturday. What's that date? What's Saturday's date? Let's see. Saturday's date is not this Saturday. Not not tomorrow. Um, the 6th. Saturday the 6th. April 6th, guys. Saturday, April 6th. My live will be at 6 o'clock. I think 6 o'clock. I'll, I'll, I'll make the time definite, but I'm pretty sure... It'll be like between five and six, probably six o'clock. But I'll, I'm going to write you the um, something in the community page, on the community page, and I'll, and I'll verify it there and all that and verify it during the week. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Hope you guys are having a great night. Bye.
thanks love you bye